opening APS files within Inkscape. So for the case study, I downloaded this free pick. We have over here a car rental banner. And within that folder, we're gonna have the following files. So initially we have a JPEG file, which is this one. As you can see, we have that car photo included. There's also an Illustrator file over here, and there's also an APS file. Now, if I will try to open the APS file within Inkscape, we're gonna see that we're gonna have this uh, fail to load to the request. And if you wanna be able to import directly APS files, you're gonna need to install GoScript. So you can go to goscript.com. Afterwards, on downloads, we're gonna search for uh, GoScript, and I will have this downloaded. So it will be this the 64-bit version. We're gonna see that file being downloaded. I already have this downloaded multiple times, so I'm just gonna delete these two. So I will just keep the last one that we had downloaded. So my mouse is uh, is buggy and I press a lot of double clicks even though it's not intended. Now this is the archive. Keep in mind that you need 7-zip in order to have this extracted and I will have it extracted within the same folder with the same name. And over here we're gonna have the library. We still see that um, the file is still being extracted, so I'll just have that all fully extracted. And with it, in that folder we're gonna have the bin folder, where we're gonna have the Go script, but we also need to add the library files. So jump within the library, select everything, and I will move everything within the bin folder. And I'll have this folder renamed. I'm gonna rename this as GS, short for Go script. And I will move this on the C drive over here. And after you have this move uh, to the, the C file, you're gonna need to open the system properties so you can um, enable it from start. So if I'm gonna type in over here environment, we're gonna see that we have the possibility to open the system properties over here. And if you're gonna go to environment uh, variables over here, we're gonna have underneath for system variables, search for path, which will be this one. Have that edited. And for the one with Program Files NVIDIA Corporation, Physics X Common, you're gonna have that edit. And uh, by default, at the end, it should uh, end like this with common. So go with semicolon afterwards, C, and afterwards add the path to the GS script, which is this one. So you need to add this to the program file NVIDIA Corporation Physics X. And afterwards, you're gonna need to define a new variable over here. I already have it defined. So you will go to new. You will type in over here, for example, GS from Go script. And uh, the variable will be the location. So the drive and afterwards the path. So this will be the new system variable. And if you, if you have those added, and also you have uh, copied this GS folder on the C drive, you're gonna see that now within Inkscape, we have the possibility to convert APS file. So we see that this still failed to load. So I will just restart Inkscape. And now it should, prob it should properly read the new folder over here that has been copied. So I'm gonna go for a landscape A4. And afterwards, the same folder, so the APS file, I'm gonna have that drag and dropped. And we see that we have this input, so the terminal page orientation. We can go with this for disabled. And afterwards, 
we're gonna have this PDF import settings and the file will be imported. So we see we have a lot of missing fonts. We have them over here. Those will be converted. So if I will click OK, we're gonna have that file loaded. So it will be over here. And we have the possibility to have this ungrouped and work with, with it afterwards. We're gonna see this small car. Again, we can do multiple selection and have those grouped and um, re rearranged on the layout. Now, as we can see, this is far from um, the original design. So some of the elements are changed, mainly the aspects regarding the text. For example, if I will jump over here within Illustrator and I will open the same APS file over here, we're gonna see that the only thing that is uh, missing are the fonts but otherwise we're gonna have that geometry so mainly this cutout where we have that photo reference is um, cut differently so if I'm gonna release the clipping mask over here we're gonna have this but otherwise if we're gonna check the um, Inkscape version which is over there and um, the illustrator one you're gonna see that the same graphic elements are um, present on both of those. The main difference is that, um, let's see that font, as you can see over here, but other vector elements will be the same. So if you don't wanna use um, APS files directly, you can also have them converted into an SVG file. You can do this online on various platforms, for example this one. And I will select the same file, which is this one, the APS file, have that converted as an SVG file. And after this has been processed, we have the possibility to download the resulting SVG. And as you can see, the SVG file will have the same um, outline design like the uh, like the APS file within Illustrator. So have that drag and drop within um, Inkscape. And we're gonna see how that will be different from the one that we just generated using the APS file. The main change is that over here, for example, we have this text I can have that ungrouped and this is still considered as a text so we have that same uh, text over here but if you're gonna try to type in you're gonna see that it will not be perfectly editable for example if I won't want to delete a letter I can do that if I want to type in another one it won't be a perfect um, match over there so you will have to add additional um, texture over here and use various fonts in order to change uh, those missing elements. But otherwise we have all the element, all the graphic elements over here within both files, so both uh, APS and both um, SVG file. So just like within Illustrator, but over here as you can see we have the possibility to change that font and this will, um, will read better get your dream car we can um, change that easily that's the main advantage of uh, illustrator over inkscape okay so i hope that you find this uh, video useful i will position a similar video over here to the left and a subscribe button to the right so hope it was helpful thanks for watching